Hi, Ketavon. So what more do we know about this latest incursion? Well, uh, we've been getting uh, sort of uh, several uh, information about several incidents at the same time. So UNIFIL uh, sort of uh, releasing uh, this uh, statement. So the main uh, event uh, that you uh, mentioned happened at around 4.30 a.m., according to the UN uh, peacekeeping mission, uh, this morning, where they uh, say that two uh, Israeli tanks uh, destroyed a uh, UN position's uh, main uh, gate and forcibly entered uh, that uh, position. Uh, that was one of uh, the uh, peacekeeping uh, missions, uh, 29 positions in uh, southern uh, Lebanon. This position uh, located uh, near uh, Ramia, the area of Ramia, which is basically uh, sort of uh, on that uh, blue line uh, area pretty much in the middle of uh, that uh, blue line. So this was the first area that was uh, targeted. Uh, and uh, they stayed there for about 45 uh, minutes uh, and then left uh, that position. Uh, the uh, UNIFIL uh, says that at after they left, there were also some firing. There were rounds fired at that same position, uh, firing that uh, created smoke, so maybe smoke bombs, uh, that impacted at least 15 of uh, the peacekeepers, uh, but with a very uh, light uh, injuries or uh, most likely um, skin irritations. Uh, then they also uh, say that they saw three platoons that actually crossed over uh, that blue <laughs> line and into uh, Lebanese uh, territory. And UNIFIL also uh, used this announcement uh, to uh, talk about an incident that happened on Saturday uh, where they say that Israeli soldiers uh, blocked a, a UNIFIL movement, uh, this time near Mais al Jabal, which is much further east from the area where the incident happened uh, today. So, several incidents uh, happening, all of them uh, happening actually before uh, that uh, video that was released by Benjamin Netanyahu telling uh, the US, uh, UN peacekeepers to basically get out of uh, the way, get out of harm's uh, way. So adding to this uh, past few days of these incidents between uh, UN peacekeeping forces and uh, Israeli forces in southern Lebanon. So we've we've seen five people, uh, five peacekeepers injured, Kedavan. We've seen widespread international uh, condemnation. But concretely, what are the consequences, the legal ramifications uh, of Israel's targeting of peacekeepers? Well, there are two things to look at. One uh, is the presence of the UN peacekeepers and the fact that the Israelis are asking them to leave. The UN peacekeepers are there through uh, that uh, UN Security Council uh, Resolution 1701. And part of uh, their basic principles is to uh, make sure that there are no foreign forces on Lebanese territory uh, unless there's government consent and no armed personnel other than the Lebanese army and uh, the uh, UN uh, forces uh, between that blue line and the Litany uh, River. So obviously this has not been respected neither by Hezbollah nor by uh, the Israeli uh, forces, uh, but it is a UN resolution and we know that it is very hard uh, to have uh, to implement consequences uh, against any violation uh, of that besides sort of slaps on the wrist. And then there's the question of targeting UN peacekeepers. In that case, uh, in the Rome Statute, uh, there is uh, clearly, uh, it says that intentional targeting of humanitarian and peacekeeping missions is a war crime. Uh, the problem is that Israel, for example, is not a, a signatory or doesn't recognize uh, the Rome Statute. Uh, so uh, there are condemnations, international uh, community uh, condemnations, but the, the problem is that concretely uh, there is not much that they are uh, they can do and that they are, at least for now, willing to do besides uh, condemning these moves. situation is certainly getting increasingly uh, tense. Kedavan Gordistani, thank you very much.